x squared minus 2x, and we're plugging in the number 2 for all our x's. So we start off with 2 squared minus 2 times 2. So 2 squared is equal to 4, and then negative 2 times 2 is equal to negative 4, and that just turns out to be 0. And it's another problem down, but it's the same function that you're plugging into, so we'll just plug in negative 2 this time. So negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. And since it's negative 2 times negative 2, it's a positive 4. So your answer is 8.